C++ strings. So, in case of C++ programming, we can define one string in two different types. First one is the C style character string and the second one is the string class type introduced with standard C++. We know that in a string, we can keep alphanumeric values or alphanumeric characters and also with some special characters there. The C style character string originated within the C language and continues to be supported within C++. This string is actually one dimensional array of characters which is terminated by a null character. So, it is conceptually it has been considered that a string is nothing but one character array where each and every location will hold some character let it be the alphanumeric characters, let it be some uh, hyphen, say some slash will be there, some equal to sign might be there also. So, some special characters will be there, but it should be terminated by one null and this null character will be represented as slash 0. This null terminated string contains the characters that comprise the string followed by a null. So, that is a basic concept in string. The following declaration and initialization create a string consisting of the word hello. So, now in this case, if you consider this respective declaration here. So, here we are going for character greeting 6 and we are keeping all these values there h e l l o 5 characters and terminated by the null. So, in this way we can define or you can consider that string is nothing but one character array really it is a character array where the characters will be there at each and every location and terminated by one null denoted by slash 0 within single quotes. If you follow the rule of array initialization, then you can write the above statement as follows. Also, you can write it in this way. There is no need to mention the array size. We can write in this way car greetings square brackets, square brackets opening and closing and then hello within double quotes. So, following is the memory representation of the above defined string in C and C++. So, index value will be ranging from 0 to 5, so 6 locations. So, variable will be this one H E L L O and then null and this address we have taken very arbitrary address. So, let it be starting from 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. We know that character occupies one byte in the computer's memory. So, the next location's content will be the same, same address will be the address will remain the same, but only one incremented, one incremented, one incremented in this way. This address, whatever we have written here, is arbitrarily only for the to build up the conception of yours. Actually, we do not place the null character at the end of a string constant. The C compiler automatically places the null character at the end of the string when it initializes the array. In the, in the previous, previous example also, you have find that, that here we did not put any null character. We have written only this hello, hello and as hello is a string, so it has got enclosed within double quotes. So, whenever it will get assigned onto this particular character array, then compiler will attach or will include that null at the end of this hello. So, here is one sample program with us. So, here we are defining one character array that is the size of 6 and here we have kept that one and we are printing this greeting as well and there is a respective output and it shows that really it is printing the string hello here. In this way, we have defined that we have also discussed how the C++ deals with a string. Thanks for watching this video.